Hey guys, this is Chris with Sticker Fab. Hope you're having a good day. Today we are right in the city of Palms, Fort Myers. Um, I've been focused so much on the Bronco and Bronco Sport that even though I really wanted a new BRZ or 86, I, I kind of moved my funds over and I was really focused and committed into that. But our friends at Import Image Racing, who are right here in Fort Myers, Florida, have purchased the brand new 22 BR, 2022 BRZ. They told me they got it this last weekend. Actually, I think they got it on Friday. And here it is in white. So I'm gonna be working on a lot of vinyl for this vehicle. Um, white is an awesome color to do uh, gloss black, matte black accents, uh, 3D carbon. Um, there's really a lot of places it looks like to uh, put some overlays on this guy. Looking good. I did have a FRS uh, right when they first came out, and that's kind of how I got into the car industry. Looking real good up front. So it looks like they molded in a front license plate bracket right there. Either have to get something made to cover those up, little block plates or something. We'll definitely be doing some, some side marker overlays. I think this is the guy that owns the vehicle. He's always hiding in the shadows. But look at that. We already have front and rear overlays uh, ready for this vehicle. Probably get some door cup protectors, some overlays right in there. Side marker overlays for the back. Third brake light overlay. Lots of potential. Rear fog light overlays in your reverse. I'm sure someone will come up aftermarket redo those um so this video is also going to be the taillight video uh the taillight overlay install video and we'll just roll right into that i'm gonna go grab a few things grab a sand and we'll get get to it all right actually before we really get into anything i want to uh show you guys all the functions i want to check them out for myself so we can compare them do a little before and after So what I did, uh, I went through a little breaky breaky, a little uh, hazard lights on, and then I turned the parking lights on and uh, did the the brakes again and the um, four ways. But the bottom that should just be uh, reverse down in there, so that we're not covering that up right now. Uh, we'll probably cover that in another video when I get that round to that vinyl. All right, so we have our vinyl. We have two sides, and you can tell by the pattern which one goes where. This would be the, the driver's side, this angle right there. Um, kind of two options for this. We can do a wet install or a dry install. If your hand is really steady, uh, you can do that dry install, just making sure that you push all of the air out before you completely push everything down and that you make sure your alignment is kind of spot on so you get the coverage you want. But if your hand is not as steady, if you're not as used to installing vinyl, just go ahead and do a wet install. We offer uh, these bottles, they're like a buck or something. Um, basically, it's water all the way up to here and a few drops of dish soap. You could also just throw that in a bowl, kind of wet this area and uh, wet the back of your vinyl. So you wanna clean the entire application area because you never know when a gust of wind or something will catch it and uh, make it stick somewhere else and get the back of the vinyl all dirty. Go ahead and wash your hands make sure they're clean because you'll probably be touching the back of the vinyl there as well right now it is 73 degrees in Fort Myers I like to install vinyl around 70 to 80 degrees that tends to be when the adhesive sticks the best if you are in a very cold climate I only get these messages from people up north in very cold climates oh it won't stick blah 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 um, you really need to get everything warm and we're not talking about like warm for a second we're talking about like everything gets up to that 70 to 80 degrees the vinyl the lamp 
everything. Um, you can also clean everything off. If it's a little cold, apply it down, keep a hair dryer around or a heat gun because we're not professionals. I don't want you to fry the vinyl. It will stretch, it'll get weird. You won't like it. So my rule of thumb is if it'll burn your hands, that's probably too hot. So just keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna take this side off first. We're gonna install the red. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And then I'm gonna to go to the C-cut dark smoke and I will probably end in what will probably be the most popular choice, which is dark smoke, uh, full coverage. Uh, full coverage being this full area. So I've sprayed down the back of the vinyl so I don't have to commit to the location immediately, but looks like it kind of just went there. Mm, we're a little low on this side because it's wet. I can peel it back up pretty easily. I'm gonna adjust the angle there. All right, now, um, if you had a squeegee, you might be able to get it in here, but I'm just gonna use my fingers because it's a very small area. Now you wanna hold it down as you're trying to push the water and the air out so it doesn't slide around. Don't drive uh, immediately to a car wash after doing this. Let it sit out in the heat for a little bit. Let it really stick to it. I still didn't think the angle was right, so I kind of pushed it around and changed that angle up a little bit. Now that I have this side, I'm gonna go do the other side real quick and then we'll, we'll take a little quick video. All right, here we are taking a little break mid video and we'll go over the um, functions once more with the red taillight overlays. So on to the next, we have the C-cut in dark smoke. Similar install to this, but there's no center portion. So it'll be a little bit more flimsy, but let's knock that out. All right, so these are the C-cut. I call them that because they kind of make a little C right here. You can see that this middle uh, portion has been cut out. It's a little bit flimsier, but this time, I really encourage you to use the wet install to get it in the proper place. Go ahead, make sure your application area is clean. This should be clean because I just peeled off the other one. I'm gonna peel this one off. And as I do, I'll just spray it. Because if the wind catches this and it folds back on itself, it's easy to, easy to destroy it, really. Let me put my squirt bottle down. I'll hold, I'll hold the tails here. Try to get this into the corner and aligned. Get this bar going across the top. Get this bar going across the bottom. And now just gotta even it out so that it gets coverage out to the corner. Pushing it all around so it'll lay flat then gently just kind of massaging that soapy water out of here. You can speed up the process with that hair dryer, even though it's a little warm here, or I could back it up into the sun and it start to dry off. Use my microfiber. You can see with my left hand, I'm, I'm holding that one corner so that it doesn't move the vinyl as I'm getting that all off. And I'll kind of do it the other way. Just want to get it as dry as possible. So that's the C-cut, just a minor uh, modification to the standard tail light. Let's uh, compare the two, take some photos. All 
right, here's the last option. We're gonna video, this is the dark smoke. Just be sure to leave that in the comment section below. If you guys choose something else other than this last dark smoke, full coverage one, I will come back to Import Image Racing, grab their BRZ and change it out for you guys so you can see that. I'm sure they're gonna be making videos, so you'll see that in all their videos. Um, please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that bell notification icon so you can hear the latest and greatest things I make for the 22 up BRZ and A6. Thanks a lot for watching.